Yes, this episode is going to be so awesome. I've been waiting so long. <laughs> The Walking Dead, a popular comic book and a widely popular TV show, it was bound to be turned into a video game. But when news first broke out of the possibility of a Walking Dead video game, there was a cause of concern from the game community, and rightly so. Would a Walking Dead video game be generalized into every other shooter out there on the video game market and totally bomb? Become uninteresting as a result of that? Or would it turn into a compelling story-driven game that would find praise from many video game critics and fans alike? We gonna find that shit out right now. Welcome to Playing With Issues, and this is my review of The Walking Dead video game by Telltale Games. Storyline. Shit, I gotta read? The storyline behind The Walking Dead has you playing as Lee Everett, a history teacher who is on his way to a prison after being convicted of killing a state senator who had an affair with his wife. The cop car he's riding in hits a walker and crashes into a forest where Lee has his first experience with a zombie and finds his way to a house where he finds and decides to take care of a little girl called Clementine after killing Clementine's zombified babysitter. This starts a large and lengthy chain of events that is described in Telltale's unique five episode zombie apocalypse adventure. The Walking Dead is a decision making video game that makes the story vary in the way it continues and the way it ends as you go along with each episode. The various decisions that you make and the various ways that you talk to the people that remain in your group will affect how those same people will treat you as the story progresses and various situations occur. The story is very gripping and extremely emotional. As you play through the story, each episode gets better and better as you're pitted to make important, difficult, and extremely emotional decisions. Gameplay! Just press the fucking button! The game is of the point and click adventure genre. There are five episodes in the season that you can decide to buy one at a time online, in the bundle pack online, or all the episodes on a disc copy that will be released on December 3rd. The point and click gameplay is nothing revolutionary, but it's something that works with a game as emotionally gripping and story driven as The Walking Dead. You walk around and look at things in the environment that can potentially help you progress from whatever situation you are in, whether it be running away from zombies, jumping at a building ledge, whatever. However, there are times in the game where you can shoot as you would be able to in a shooter, but these moments are rare and happen just about a few times throughout the season. I feel this is a good thing because this game's story is so good, it doesn't need to be a shooter or anything else out there on the market. The game also consists of decision making. Since you're playing as Lee, you can make him say whatever you want to say when talking to other characters. You can make him into an aggressive asshole, or a nice guy who tries to please everybody, or even a guy who doesn't really say much. I feel this is a great thing because dependent on your feelings toward whatever situation you're pitted in or whoever you're talking to, you can truly make the main character your own. The Walking Dead is its own game in these rights and one that fans can really be proud of. Graphics. Yes, I can see all the pixels. The graphics won't win any awards, but it captures the feel and look of the comics pretty damn well. The lip syncing of the characters works better than most games of this genre, and you can perfectly see and convey the emotions on the faces of the characters as they respond to their respective situations. The zombies look alright, but the death scenes can look downright gruesome when it comes down to it. People will complain about the graphics, but for me, I can appreciate how the characters look and how the environments look. Soundtrack Man, is this game emotional or what? What the characters go through is perfectly conveyed in the excellent soundtrack of the game. The music becomes tense and ominous as you're forced to make a difficult decision in a limited amount of time. The music becomes sad and emotional as the character dies. The music puts you in a sense of danger when you see a herd of walkers coming your way. For every situation that happens in the game, there's a really good track to accompany it and that's a huge plus for me. And that end credit song? <laughs> I cried many tears. What I loved. I fucking love this game. Ah oh, man, what isn't there to love about this game? You will grow an attachment to certain characters in the game as the episode goes along. Whether it be Kenny, 
Dog, Clementine, etc. It's been a while since I've actually cared about the characters in the game, and it's a very welcome change. The gameplay, however simple it is, has plenty of tense moments and works in a very exceptional way. The stuff that happens throughout the episodes is absolutely ridiculous and extremely memorable. The decisions that you make in the game will resonate with you for a long time after you've done them. The various ways the story can go will want you wanting to play the game over and over again just to see what happens if you did one thing one playthrough and another in the next. The replayability is there and that's a fantastic way to keep you invested in the game after you beat it for the first time. What really sucked? FUCK THIS SHIT! To be honest, there wasn't much in the game that I didn't like. There were a few times throughout the episodes that I had no idea how to progress, but I'm not going to blame the game. I'm going to blame me for having my slow moments. Though if there was one thing in particular that sucked about this game, it would be the various technical issues throughout the episodes. There would be poor collision detection at some aspects of the game, such as a moment where a zombie's about to kill you, you have enough time to kill him, but you can't kill him because the game fucks you over and allows him to kill you. Fortunately, those moments were rare and didn't hamper me from enjoying the game in the slightest. Final thoughts. I ah, shit's gonna get real. The Walking Dead video game is a fantastic game, I am telling you. We need more story-driven games that actually make you give a damn about the characters and what happens to them. However, as I experience myself, this game is not for everyone. Unfortunately, most gamers want a game with guns and explosions and little story development. And Walking Dead is anything but those elements. It's a story-driven, point-and-click game that most mainstream gamers will more likely than not get bored of. I don't rate games, but I will give this game a recommendation of the highest honor if you're a fan of The Walking Dead and like story-driven games that is devoid of explosions and guns and all that mainstream bullshit. If not, you're more likely than not going to like this game enough to warrant a purchase. If this review helped you in any shape or form, leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. Every view, every like, every comment, and every subscription helps my channel grow and fuel my motivation to make more videos. Thanks for watching.